So, downtown Grand Rapids, you can see a couple of the larger buildings. Um, not the world's best place to start for nature photography, but the idea here is to get you to drop your expectations. You're not hiking through the woods for miles. You're just, if you see something cool, you take a photo of it. Learn how to see what's around you. Learn how to find that which is cute and special and not just think you have to be real rich traveling to all these fancy places in order to get beautiful nature photography. You can do it anywhere. All you have to do is let yourself see what's around you. It's not all buildings in concrete. Hey, I've got a tree right here. Who knows, could be a pretty bird in it. Uh, squirrel, whatever. I'm not saying go look at the trash cans and see if you find a raccoon, but you know, there are things you can find and big buildings aren't gonna scare everything away. So here in a second, I'll show you what type of uh, equipment you'll need to use for nature photography. And throughout the different videos, I'll do some photos downtown, some in some of the parks, and who knows where it'll lead me. I'll try to do a different nature, or nature photo every week. Really, in order to take good nature photos, all you really need is either a cheap camera, cell phone, fancy camera helps but isn't needed and if you have a fancy camera it'd be nice to have both a telephoto and a wide-angle lens you don't have to have hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars of fancy gear all you need to do is have the passion to do it and cell phone will work you can do a little bit better with a camera than a phone but you don't have to have one wherever you go don't be intimidated by your surroundings You'll find something that you can uh, get a photo of. You just have to know where to look. Right now I'm at the fish ladder. Obviously that doesn't look too natural. I've seen on days when the salmon weren't running that there are beautiful birds over there feeding on the edge of the river. Right now that's not going to happen. You've also got some nice green space over here that you can use. So there's plenty to do, plenty to see. You just have to know where to look. So I'll go around a couple more spots, give a few ideas. And then the next video will all be about taking photos. Just remember, don't be intimidated by your surroundings. You can find nature pretty much anywhere. All you have to do is look. Don't be afraid. I use a lot of public parks here in Grand Rapids. We have tons of them. Not all of them are absolutely huge or have sections of woods. This one's just a city block or two, mostly open. I've got trees, we've got noisy little bugs you can probably hear in the background, cicada. I'll find squirrels, birds, and if you do it right, you can even get a decent landscape photo. You don't need much. All you need is patience. I come to a place like this, sit back, relax, wait. You'll see something. Um, when I drove in, there was a, a little squirrel over there. And I have, of course, the logging lens on, so you're not going to see it in here. And something will come to you. I'm going to go to the entrance over here where there's some tall grass and angle through the grass just right, and I'm going to come up with a form of landscape photo. I'll turn the camera back on when I get there. Okay, here at the entrance of the park, see what I can see. I mean, this is just the beginning of fall, so nothing's really in bloom. But I'm gonna see if I can't make a nature photo out, see if I can't make a nature photo out of this anyway. That looks kinda nice. I 
I hope that photo turned out. It was just a quick, simple little landscape. Didn't put any thought into it. This video right here isn't about how to get the good stuff. It's just letting you know it can be done. My next videos are going to be more informative. They're going to show what you can do. Don't worry about having big fancy equipment in order to do this. You can do it with anything. You can do it with your cell phone. So if you got a little pocket camera, if you've got a fancy DSLR, a nice uh, cell phone, you should be able to do pretty good. It's just a matter of going out and having some fun. But relax. Nothing comes to you when you rush. You always got to relax. Because when you first get there, any critters, whatever, you're going to scare them off. Sit back, relax. Critters come back out. Trust me. That's how you get nature photos. At least the wildlife ones. And as far as flowers and stuff like that, I'll do some landscapes. I'll do the occasional critter photo and show you what we can get. All right? Remember, if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the future. Thank you and goodbye.